Hey everybody, I am really excited about today's recipe. Um, it comes from a man on YouTube that has his own channel. He's an older gentleman, I would say somewhere in his 70s. He uh, used to be a actor and he may still be. He still has a SAG card. Um, he does uh, recipes and um, just all kinds of uh, cooking and um, going to the stores and telling about old time things and about his mom who used to own a, a boarding house. And he's just the nicest man ever. And I think if you like that type thing, you would en enjoy listening to him a lot. He is um, very soothing to listen to. And his name on YouTube is Feature Man, F-E-A-T-U-R-E-M-A-N. And he has several recipes that I wanna try. Uh, but I came across this one, and for some reason, it just really um, spoke to me. So, this is what I'm going to try with y'all today. And, um, so anyway, um, I'm going to do it in two parts, and I'll go ahead and put you over here where you can. After I get you out of my basket, I really need a better way of doing this and I don't think I have one let me see I don't want to drop you again so I hope that you can see that I have a pot of water here uh, getting ready to boil and what we're going to make is um salmon casserole but it sounds really really good so take two or three kinds of um, pasta that you like I'm gonna use rotini and then I'm gonna use some vermicelli and so I'm gonna put my rotini in and let it go for just a little bit and then add the um, vermicelli so that uh, they'll end up cooking about the same time because the vermicelli does not need to cook quite as long as the rotini. So I will tell you what I'll, I'm going to do and then I'll let this pasta cook until it's done and and the way I have my camera right now I really can't see my screen so I can't see if everything is in the picture but I believe that it is but anyway I am going to do this basically the way feature man did it except I have just a couple little differences I'm gonna do so um, I'm going to drain the um, fluid off of the salmon, and then I'll take my fork and just kind of flake it up some. Uh, we're gonna use cream style corn straight out of the can. Once the pasta is done, I'm gonna add some garlic and um, some garlic and a little Parmesan cheese to it. That He doesn't do his that way. And then we're going to take probably not all of this but part of it and crumble it up and then I'm going to put a little um, butter with it to put on top to make a little crust. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh, and I believe yesterday when I told you 
that I was going to do this um, recipe. I think I told you I was going to make some of the bread that he makes, some garlic bread. So I'll be using this artisano bread to do that. So it's going to be a really good meal, I'm sure. And we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get our recipe put together. And I want to take just a little bit of this water and put it in the bottom of this casserole dish that I'm going to use. I didn't use but maybe a couple tablespoons. And so I've drained the um, pasta. I still left a little bit of um, liquid in it because I'm going to put this in the oven and um, I don't want it to, if it's really dry going in, I don't want it to make the noodles start to burn or get hard. Now I'm going to put some um, garlic in. And I put probably three tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of garlic. And I'm just going to stir that around. Get it mixed up good. Now, Feature Man didn't do this. He just put his noodles in and left them. But I decided I wanted to do this okay so that seems pretty good now I'm gonna take my salmon that I drained and just kind of um, uh, flaked it up and you can get all of this I believe at Dollar Tree except you can't get the big cans of salmon, I don't think. But this would be a good Dollar Tree meal, even if you used, I know they had mackerel there in the big can. So if you wanted to just use chicken or anything, I think this would be a good meal. Some people pick the bones out of their salmon. I don't because they're so tender that they really don't cause a problem when you eat it. But if you want to take the bones out, then you go right ahead. And then the next thing, I meant to put Parmesan cheese in with the noodles and I totally forgot. But the next thing is a can of um, uh, cream style corn and you just pour that over it and I just noticed you're not at a very good angle to see what all I'm doing I apologize for that and just spread your cream style corn out and then the last thing you want to do is, I've got some butter here in my bowl. And I'm going to take probably about three-fourths of a pack of these crackers and make a crumb coffee for them. So just give them a good mash. And use however many you think you'd like to use. And I believe this will be fine. And now mix these up with your butter. And then, 
spread them across your casserole. And for the first, I've got it on 375. And for the first half hour, I'm going to cook this covered because I want everything inside to get good and hot without the crackers burning. Then about the last 15 minutes, I'll take the aluminum foil off and let it finish up brown. And then I'm going to show you how um, Featureman did his garlic bread. And as I said yesterday, it was a lot of butter and garlic. I'll put that in the oven. And here is the bread I'm using. And he just took margarine. This is country crock plant butter. I'll just do one. But he took like a ton of butter and put it on his bread. He probably even put more than that. And I don't know that I'll butter all mine that much. And then he just took some garlic like this. And I felt like this would be awfully bitter, but apparently not. But he just covered his butter with a big old helping a spoonful of that. So that was this garlic bread. And he put it in the oven and browned it, which is what I plan on doing with the rest of this. But I'm going to go ahead and let it, let it cook. As I said, covered for a half hour. Uncover it for about 15 more minutes. And I'll brown the bread. Get that ready and we'll be back. Okay, everything is finished. It smells really, really good. It looks good. And um, we're gonna give it a test. But I wanna show it to you first. Here is the bread. And it is just full of butter and garlic and this is cooled off I let it sit a little bit and here is the cracker crumbs just golden brown a little bit there's that so I'm gonna I let it sit about 10 minutes after it finished cooking so that it would hold together better when I cut it. And so here it is. It has held together pretty good. Next time I make it, I haven't even top tasted it yet, but uh, I might make a little less pasta. I'm not the biggest pasta fan unless it's spaghetti. But um, anyway, let's give it a try. This is really good. This is a lot better than I thought it would be. You can 
taste the cream corn, but it's not overpowering. You can taste the salmon, but it's not overpowering. The um, garlic butter in the pasta is not overpowering. Everything just tastes really good. I'm going to try a piece of, or a bite of this bread. I've been curious what this would be like using the, the um, garlic like that instead of like the garlic powder or garlic salt. So I'm gonna give it a taste. The garlic has a little bit of a sweet taste, and then when you get to the end of the bite, you get kind of a surge of garlic, but not in a bad way. That is really interesting, and it's good. To be honest, I don't think I would want my garlic bread to be like that every time, but sometimes that would be a nice change. I'm enjoying it. So, I appreciate you watching. I hope you give this recipe a try. And there are so many things you can do to this to make it your own. I think um, uh, the green squash, what do you call it? I can't think. But anyway, I love that. And I think some of that roasted and put in it would be really good. And uh, so anyway, maybe some diced tomato, just whatever you think. It's really a good base if you want to add to it. And check out Feature Man. He's got some really uh, good videos that will take you back. So have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.